We live at times when revivals of old nameplates are getting more and more common, and every car maker relies on nostalgia in order to bring more sales. One of these companies that is trying to revive one of its old models is General Motors. Reportedly, they are planning to revive the good old El Camino. The El Camino is one legendary utility truck that was in production from the 50s up until the late 80s, and recently, GM CEO unveiled the new version of this legendary truck. So, stay with us while we learn how GM CEO unveils a $20,000 pickup truck and wows everybody. Platform and Body Styles Let's start with the core of this model, which is the platform on which this vehicle will be based. This pickup truck will not be your typical pickup. In other words, the core of the truck will not be a ladder chassis, like the one you can find in larger mid-size and full-size pickups. This new generation of the El Camino will be based on a new design, which is called Unibody. This is the type of chassis used for building compact and mid-size sedans and crossover SUVs. This platform has some advantages and disadvantages. The advantages are improved driving capability and the handling. With this type of chassis, you'll have a truck that will basically drive no different than a compact car. This is excellent since nobody wants to experience the huge body roll that is present when driving a regular pickup truck. When it comes to cabin bed options, there will be a ton of options. This truck will offer more options compared to the Ford Maverick or the Hyundai Santa Cruz. You'll have your typical crew cab with a short bed, but you'll also have a regular cab with a longer bed. And that's something you can't find in other pickup trucks in this class. This configurability will make the Chevy El Camino a lot more attractive to buyers, especially those who run small businesses and and need that extra room to carry more stuff on the truck bed. Overall, the new El Camino will not disappoint when it comes to the configurations available. Powertrain Options Powertrain options are also hugely important when it comes to pickup trucks. The truck has to perform in order to be considered good. It needs to deliver a lot of torque, and this torque has to be available low on the RPM band in order to deliver an excellent driving experience. GM knows this, and they are reportedly working on a new 2.5-liter inline-four turbo engine. This engine will complement the larger 2.7-liter that is already offered with the Chevy Colorado and Chevy Silverado. Little is known about this engine, but one thing is certain and that this engine will be heavily based on the 2.7 liter that we've mentioned. However, as shown, it will have less displacement, which will result in lower horsepower and torque output. When it comes to the numbers, it is expected that this engine will make anywhere between 220 and 260 horsepower and up to 330 pound-feet of torque. There will be a low output version for the entry-level models and a high output version for more expensive variants. What's also interesting is that this engine will be able to work in a hybrid mode as well, and that's what we're going to cover next. Hybrid Model a hybrid model of the new El Camino is also reportedly under development. In fact, there will be two hybrid models, a mild hybrid and a plug-in hybrid. The mild hybrid model is expected to combine the same 2.5-liter engine together with a small electric motor and a small battery pack. This mild hybrid will be excellent for those who want to get good fuel economy. This model is expected to deliver pretty even numbers both in the city and on the highway. This is mainly because of the electric motor that is allowing the vehicle to accelerate without stressing out the internal combustion engine. While the more expensive hybrid will be a plug-in hybrid, this hybrid will use a larger battery pack and a more powerful electric motor. This model should deliver good MPGs both in the city and on the highway, as well as a 50-mile range in EV mode, making it perfect for those who drive short distances. On top of that, this model is expected to be the most powerful model in the lineup of internal combustion powertrains. Fully Electric Version a fully electric version of the new El Camino is also reportedly under development. This has become the industry standard nowadays with more and more car makers trying to create their own electric models. Little is known about this model except for the fact that this vehicle will implement a different styling that will be more focused on aerodynamics, which will help the El Camino squeeze every bit of range. The electric El Camino will implement a dual electric motor setup at a battery of about 100 kilowatt hours. This battery is expected to give the El Camino a range of up to 300 miles in normal conditions and up to 200 miles under load. A larger battery pack is essential because the EV range tends to deplete a lot under heavy loads. Overall, these trucks are not expected to be produced in really heavy numbers and will be primarily offered to the EV audience. Towing and Payload Capacity Towing and payload performance is really important. A truck has to offer a good towing and payload performance in order to be considered as a good truck. So what can we expect from the new Chevy El Camino in this area? 
Well, this model is expected to offer a towing performance between 1,500 and 5,000 pounds. It'll really depend on the model and the tow package you go for. 5,000 pounds is the limiting factor since this is a unibody truck, not a ladder frame truck. That's why the loads it can take will be limited to this amount. When it comes to payload, the new El Camino is expected to get about 1,500 pounds, which is the average in this segment. Although the new El Camino will also come with a larger bed, we can expect that this model will be a lot more practical since you'll be able to fit a lot more cargo on the bed compared to competitors like the Ford Maverick. Overall, the new El Camino is not expected to disappoint from a practicality aspect. Fuel Economy Now let's discuss fuel economy. Fuel economy is really important nowadays with gas prices exploding, so people are expecting that the vehicle they intend to purchase will deliver good MPGs. So how does the new Chevy El Camino perform in this area? Little is known about the official numbers for the new El Camino, but we could expect numbers somewhere in the range of 22 to 27 mpg combined for the standard internal combustion engine. The hybrid model should deliver at least 33 mpg combined, while the plug-in hybrid model should deliver up to 50 miles in EV mode. For the EV variant, as we've noted previously, the numbers that we could expect are somewhere around 300 miles of range. Overall, the new El Camino is expected to deliver a decent range both for the internal combustion versions as well as the hybrids and the EV model. Exterior and Interior Styling the exterior styling is probably one of the first things that attract us to a certain vehicle. If the looks aren't good, the deal will not happen. So how will the new El Camino look? Well, this model is expected to be a real blast from the past. This model should bring the heritage of the old El Camino models from the past with some more modern tweaks. But this model will sit a lot taller compared to the older models. Nowadays, safety standards have to be met and cars usually sit higher, especially pickup trucks. So we could expect a couple of inches in ride height increased compared to the old school El Camino models. The overall styling should complement the larger trucks in the Chevy lineup, such as the Colorado and Silverado. The interior of the El Camino is expected to be purely utilitarian, although there will be a version with more luxury features, but overall, this will be a truck for the masses. It will lack leather upholstery. There will be no extremely large screens like the ones you can find in the larger Chevy models. The design of the interior is not quite known, but Chevy will have a really daunting task to create something on a budget. Remember that this is an entry-level model, so it can be pretty challenging to add everything for this amount of money and still make a profit for the vehicle. But we know Chevy and their expertise. They will definitely try to create something really nice for this budget. We've seen that in the past and there is no doubt that they'll be able to surprise us. Pricing and release date When it comes to the pricing of this truck, we could expect this model to start as low as $20,000. This model is reportedly going to be the cheapest pickup truck ever created. This will make it perfect for those who need a proper work truck on a budget. The option of a regular cab with a long bed will make this the go-to truck for many business owners out there. Release date is expected to be somewhere in 2024 and the production to start later that year. Thanks for watching and see you next time.